Hi, I'm Roborta. Welcome to a series of episodes that will show you how to make visuals with scopes in VCV Rack. In this channel, we already covered this topic if you want an introduction. In the meantime, Modular Fungi released the Great Oscilloscope, which brings polyphony and kaleidoscopic mode. So it's an opportunity to share new ideas. Let's start adding Catronomics 8x LFO, his name is pretty self-explanatory. The first LFO goes to the X input, and the second goes to the Y input. Normal mode shows the amplitude of X and Y through time. In the right-click menu we have to choose Lissajou in order to see the amplitude of X through the horizontal axis, combined with the amplitude of Y through the vertical axis. In the same menu we also choose show labels in order to see what do every input and knobs. When both signals are equal, the scope always plots a diagonal line, like the function x equals y, when the sine waves are out of phase is when we see a circle or an ellipse. We can also change the waveform to obtain different shapes. If we change the rate of one of the LFOS, we start to see Lissajou patterns. An amazing tool to work with scopes is Module 2D Rotation by Skittum. We set it from low to high speed clicking the red dot. Holding the control key, we can fine tune the knob. The slider changes the delta of X and Y so the shape shifts from its center. Now we change the plot type to kaleidoscope, it copies the shape rotated around the center. Color spread gives us a rainbow look and kaleidoscope radius pushes the copies away from the center. The knob kaleidoscope images changes the number of copies. In the right click menu we can set the performance for more or less refresh rate according to the power of our hardware. In the same menu we have the option to display the scope in a pop-out window. Now let's hear how these signals sound. We can add some melody changing the rate of the LFOS with a simple sequence. This is just an introduction, stay tuned for the real fun. Thanks for watching.